This is Fahim Mustafa. Welcome to DietInMedics.com. Subscribe and share our channel to get continuous updates on our upcoming lectures on evidence-based nutrition. Today we are going to start a series of lectures on nutrition requirements in the pregnancy and lactation. But before moving ahead, I want to explain the role of nutrition before the pregnancy stage, that is a preconception stage. So the nutrition intake, nutrient intake in the preconception stage has a great influence on a mother's health and also has a great influence on the growth and development of the fetus. If the female is malnourished in the preconception stage, it can lead to infertility. So let's start. Let's discuss the role of undernutrition on fertility. If the female is undernourished in the preconception stage, it can lead to decrease in the progesterone level. And decrease in progesterone level can lead to infertility. Now we need to understand the link how the progesterone lead to infertility. But to uh, to understand this concept, progesterone, uh, progest progesterone effect on the fertility, you must understand the functions of progesterone first. Progesterone has a great effect on the fertility. So here is the uterus, fallopian tube, ovaries. Eggs are synthesized in the ovaries. And then uh, when the ovulation occur, egg move through fallopian tube, fertilization occur in the fallopian tube and then it move into the uterus. Progesterone allow the entry of ovum through the fallopian tube into the uterus. Progesterone allow the entry of ovum from the fallopian tube into the uterus it progesterone increase the progesterone receptors in the fallopian tube and then activates the receptors these receptors these activity receptor exert relaxing effect in the fallopian tube that allow the entry of ovum into the uterus so the first thing is the progesterone allow the entry of ovum through fallopian tube into the uterus and a progesterone do it by increasing uh, firstly by it increase the progesterone receptors number one is it increase the progesterone receptors in the fallopian tube second it activates the receptors and third these activated receptors exert a relaxing effect in the fallopian tube that allow the entry of ovum into the uterus. Second, progesterone also maintains the endometrial lining. Progesterone converts the endometrial cells into more swollen cells that contains glycogen, proteins and fats and other minerals required for the growth of the ovum. So once the progesterone, once the ovum has implanted into the uterus, then progesterone maintains the lining throughout the pregnancy and it converts the endometrial cells into more swollen cells to store the more nutrition. But if there is absence of this ovum, if there is absence of fertilized egg, then this endometrial lining will deteriorate. And menstruation starts. But if there is fertilized egg, then progesterone maintains this lining throughout the pregnancy. But if during the pregnancy, progesterone level drops, what will happen? 
in that case it can the uterus will be unable to carry the pregnancy to carry the fetus and it can lead to the miscarriage so this uh, second point that was it maintains the endometrial lining and if there is a deficiency of progesterone it can lead to the miscarriage because uterus will be unable to maintain to carry the uterus carry the fetus through the pregnancy so the third point is progesterone decrease the uterus contraction during the pregnancy to prevent from the spontaneous abortion progesterone prevents from spontaneous abortion by decreasing the uterus contraction during the pregnancy so the progesterone number one in, uh, allow the entry of ovum into the uterus second it maintains the endometrial lining and third it prevents it decreases the uterus contraction so if there is absence of progesterone an entry of ovum into the uterus will be affected second endometrial lining maintenance will be affected that lead to the miscarriage third uterus contraction will increase during the pregnancy that can lead to the spontaneous abortion so the overall decrease in the progesterone level can lead to infertility famine in the whole land during the world war 2 lead to decrease in the calorie intake less than 1000 kilocalories per day that was associated with 50% decline in the birth rate in the uh, 50% dec uh, decrease in the fertility rate and 53% decline in the birth rate so next uh, we discuss how the overnutrition affect the fertility